What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Road to Glory. Now, today, we I, I believe that we're going to play three games because I think that's all that's left in the playoffs. So, we're going to play round two, and then I think it goes semifinals, and then state championship which again i'm really curious to see where our state championship is going to take place because there's no colleges actually no uh there will no there's no colleges in north dakota that are in this game so i don't know where they're going to have us play usually like if it's in maryland they'll play a terrapin or the terps uh field if it's like if it's in ohio they'll play at ohio state's field but i don't know where they're gonna have us play so we're gonna hop right into the against the 10 and 0 spearfish so let's get right into it all right so we're actually away for this game but this is i don't know where you could see palm trees in north dakota but we'll go with it and tails hasn't failed for a few times now so we're just gonna kick, kick a right off to them now they're 10 and 0 and i would say that mean that they're a good team but last week's team wasn't too hot and they were trying to know so i don't i don't i don't see any challenge to be quite honest with you so we're gonna send ostrander deep to maybe get rid of uh, some defenders that could be on Wiesbecker. like that that's exactly how i drew that play out to be and i was really hoping that whoever was on the right side the wide out that was on the right side would maybe catch a block for Wiesbecker, send him send him to the end zone one-way ticket but he wasn't able to do it so I, I guess we'll just keep going on with our lives ah come on come on Ooh, that's a good pass that's a good pass that was a good time to wait i i i always scramble outside of the pocket and it's usually you don't want to do that if you're a quarterback you don't want to scramble outside of the pocket now we have a triple option all we need to do is to like f up on this play and ruin our playoffs because so far we're having a, flaw a flawless playoffs so there you go throw it to him there you go get that guy stuck on me he breaks a tackle good for him he gets us five yards which really he should have gotten more if he was able to break that tackle maybe a little bit faster he probably would have got more yards possibly in the end zone but this play right here should punch us into the end zone one way or another either from running it or from passing it now I'm just going to run it in because it's just a one-way to get into the end zone. Now, this looks like a relatively nice school, like palm trees everywhere. That track kind of looks like dirt, which is not always the best for uh, for the old uh, eels. Thanks for getting the, the block, but we might be gone unless there's a guy that comes randomly from the side, but there won't be. So we're just going to punch that right into the end zone. My guy is playing a lot better in the playoffs. Give him that clutch factor. I can't wait till we get into Madden because uh that's gonna be fun now the real question is are we gonna get done with all four years of college before the oh that was kind of done before the madden 19 life cycle ends we might have to import him into madden 20 which sounds really weird to call it madden to have a madden 20. i wonder what they're gonna do for madden 25 because if you don't remember the madden 14 or the the madden for the year 2014 it was called Madden 25 because it was the 25 year years of Madden. So what are they gonna do for, for like actually the year 2025? Is they just gonna be like Madden 2025? Right? I, no clue. That's for them to figure out. I, I feel like it would have been smarter to just call it Madden 14 and then say 25 year edition. Like I don't know. I, I guess I'm not the marketer. I play a lot better when I'm just talking. I noticed that because I've talked a lot of the time in this video uh give it off to him really i couldn't catch that block for him it wouldn't let me latch onto him but then and he wasn't the person that tackled him so i guess that's not my fault Can we flip it no i forgot you can't flip in this game which really sucks now we last time we did this play i believe this is the play that put us in the end zone so awesome 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 sauce uh okay you gotta get the block bro i'm yelling at myself right now but like it won't let me lot like latch on to him to like block him now these option players are really working in our favor so we're gonna coach wants us to keep doing them if you know what i'm saying oh that was a good one that was a good that should be a good run but he's just gonna like run down the middle of the field but no he gets out he's gonna be in the end zone he's gonna get in the end zone he's gonna be like clipping Yep, 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 yep. I don't even know what clipping is. Can somebody, like, inform me on what clipping is? Because it's stupid. It only happens when you have a good play or, like, you have a good return on a kickoff. I hate it. That was a wasted play, for being honest. Send Hal over, send Saria over here. Get some defenders out of the way. 
Oh, that's a dumb play. I don't know why I just threw that. I don't know why I threw that. But he, pro he possibly could have caught that if you, like... I, I hate when if a defender touches it like the wide receiver in this game. It's like, you know what? Now that he's touched it, I can't touch it myself. I can't try to catch it. It's just... I hate to break it to you, man. It's just that's how it goes. And that should be a nice little screen pass. But number 10 is going to be able to... Oh, he literally took out his feet. That can't be allowed. We're going to do another screen because clearly it worked, it worked so well the first time. Let's see if we could send uh, all them deep. Send all them deep, maybe get some defenders out of the way. And of course, okay. Mom ain't racing no bitch. That was 100% the halfback's fault. I literally was sending people deep so it would get rid of the like defenders that could possibly interfere with a long pass play, long uh, screen. And he still managed to. There you go. That's a first down and a lot more. I'm so mad, dude. I am so mad that we, that we got that clipping call. I really don't want to keep doing the screen pass because it hasn't worked the last two times. So we should be able to maybe find whoever this is. I think this is Howell into the end zone. Is that Howell? Yeah, it is. This episode's going to take me a while to edit. Three games? Oh my goodness. That's going to take me a long time. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. Send him over, send him over, send him deep. There you go, and I think I'm ready to get this play going. To get this play rocking. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That literally, that play all messed up because they collided. But my legs are literally, oh my god, I'm a dog. Oh my god, I'm a dog. Did you see me cutting left, right, and center? Oh boy, cut. 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 Oh my, that one was the crazy one right there. If I wasn't, like, close to the sideline, I probably would have been in the end zone that play. That would have probably been the easily the best play that we've, we've ever, I've ever pulled off in my life. Ah, uh, I don't know why I do this to myself. Let's toss it that way. He caught it. What? Dude, this game is broke. What? Wow, what a catch. Might be able to get it in another score before the the end of the first half. I 100% believe we'll be able to get another score in just because we have two timeouts. And if I really do happen to suck this drive like I did for the most part last drive, then I could just use the timeouts. Or we could just keep throwing along the sideline, get out of bounds, stop the clock, all that fun stuff. Now, who's not going deep? I think it's sorry is not going deep on this play. So we're going to send him on a slant route. Send who's standing on the slant, slant route. What they're going to do is they're going to collide in the middle. Because that's what they usually do. Yep. And then they're going to F up the whole play. And then I'm just going to use my legs. If you can catch a block maybe. Who is that? Is that Hussein? That's Hussein, isn't it? If you could catch a block, I was gone. 100%. But we're going to do an option play and get into the end zone this play. So it doesn't really matter. So, eh. Unless our halfback wants it, which is what's going to happen. But we still might get in the end zone if he's smart with it, and he is. So that's an 18-yard touchdown run for Alex Howell. We are now leading 41-3. to th Beginning of the second half, again, up 42-3. to th They want us to do another option play. Don't have anything against these. These have been working super, super well for us. No! You didn't cut! You didn't cut it like I wanted it to! I was trying to do like a sharp cut like I've been doing, but he's just like... No, man, I'm just gonna have to slow down, man. I just gotta take this slow down, you know what I'm saying, man? I don't know what you, you know what I'm saying, man. I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Alright, send them deep. That'll get defenders out of the middle. Uh, we're gonna run it. I, I waited way too long. That was my fault. I waited way too long to throw the ball. We're gonna change the play because I really like the deep attack. It's a very good play because Wiesbecker, with how good of a player he is, he's able to get loose and then... He, they're really playing the guy in tightly on that side, so I bet I could get him off of him, and then I probably could have tossed it to, to dude. He's a dog. He's a king. He would literally, if we were in college together, we'd be playing like we'd be in the M or the MVP, the Heisman race, literally right next to each other, holding hands. That's what you don't understand. Wiesbecker should be in the end zone this play. He's gonna be. I waited way too long. Oh, but he's throwing. He's literally pancaking. <gasps> no. Literally, all you have to do is reach. That's all I had to do was reach. 
But I did truck someone, which was pretty cool. I waited way too long to get that ball to Weezbecker. Now, they're going to blitz me. So, I'm going to give it to... Uh, they're, they're not going to blitz me. Okay. But I am going to run it in. And I was able to break the tackle as well. That's pretty lit. They're going to keep us in. But we're literally right next to the end zone. So, this should be an easy money. We're, we're taking down these 10-0 teams left, right, and center. These guys are terrible. They are terrible. Terrible. Who are the who are they playing to become 10 and 0? Like we are seriously the top dogs of the state of North Dakota. Are they gonna take us out? Yeah, I believe they're gonna take us out for the rest of the game unless Spearfish like starts surging back. But we do score 70, 73, maybe 80. No, we can't score 80. But look at those stats. Like the stats don't lie. I believe we only have two games left of our high school career, and then uh, I forgot to say this next episode, we're gonna be picking the college. I'm gonna leave you guys off in a cliffhanger. So uh let's get Let's get see what schools want us. All right, so Texas Tech wants us as QB, and then I believe, like for instance, I'm gonna add Arkansas right now. But I believe then they're gonna want us next game. Like they're that's the first team that's gonna pop up saying like they want to offer you a scholarship because you're. I feel like you're kind of asking. But now we are we are playing against the eight and two Hot Springs. Now we have played before, uh, played against them before. We're that we are like one of their losses out of the two. So, we've already beat them before. I don't see much of a challenge with this. I believe this was one of our harder opponents of the season, though, that it took us, like, till halfway in the third quarter to actually sit out. But the fact that we were able to blow out uh, a 10-0 team, like, 50-something to 10, and then we are able to beat another 10-0 team, 73-3, in the playoffs... That's that's insane. So we're just gonna hop. We're gonna hop right into the semifinals, the so state semifinals against uh, Hot Springs. So we're gonna be away as well for this game. Are we not the first seed in the playoffs? That blows my mind. Uh, we're gonna choose Tails, and uh, we're gonna kick it. Dude, Tails has not fails failed for like super long. I wonder if you're like in one of those states where there's not like a a stadium in there, then you just play uh, like at home, which is very very possible. Because they might just put us at home. Because I just can't think of any like stadiums that are in North Dakota that are in this game. Like the only big stadium I could think of is probably like North Dakota State Stadium. That's it. But they're not in this game. They're an S they're an S F C S team. So I I don't know. I'm really curious to see who will, will, where we're gonna play at next game. I don't know where my next home is gonna be. Where my next office is gonna be. But I remember playing these guys because. I said, we're going to be playing high school, high school this game. I, dude, I don't even know. I'm just trying to talk and keep commentary and try to make it so it's not pure silence, which, I mean, it surely wouldn't be because of the game sound. But 29 yards for Michael Louise Becker. We're marching down the field. Not as quick as I, I mean, yeah, we're marching down pretty quick, but technically I would love to be throwing, like, 80-yard passes downfield for touchdowns. Those are, those are my personal personal wants but that might be in the end zone and it will be because michael weisbecker's a god i'm so sad that we only have two games left of that. i am promising you this right i'm promising you this right now we are never losing a game in our career in our high school career in our college career in our nfl career we are never losing a game we are gonna go undefeated every season win the super bowl every season i'm gonna I don't know if I want to promise that I can win uh, Heisman every season because sometimes if you just throw one pick, it literally throws off the entire, like, it'll throw you off out of the Heisman race. But if I am starting QB at the beginning of the game, we are not losing the game. Now, uh, if it's like, for instance, if you do go to like a higher caliber school, sometimes you start off as like a second or third, third string. If I happen to lose a game, like within the next few episodes that early then i don't count that but whenever i'm starting a qb i'm never gonna lose a game that's just that's my promise to you especially if i have good wide receivers slash tight ends like michael weisbecker right there like look at the king he's he's an absolute unit man he just you can't get past him he's he literally trucks you over you get in his way his leg move and just trucks your ass Okay, why'd you? Okay, why'd you stop? Why'd you stop? Okay, I would literally just got done praising you, and then you're you, you, right in the middle of your ride. You're like, you know, I just want to stop, take a break. You know, look at the scenery here. It's really nice in Hot Springs. If you know it, it's, it's really, really, it's really hot in Hot Springs. If you weren't, if you weren't aware, 
But we're going to get touchdown pass to Dean Nagayan. He's another wide receiver that I'm going to miss. We had 26 seconds to get down the field to, to make it 28 to 0 before the first quarter ends. Which I kind of want kind of want to do that because it, it sets the, the pace for... Oh! I should have passed it down field. Get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. I should have passed it down field to him. He was wide open. Maybe we can have it happen again. See if we can have it happen again. I doubt, but that, that was nearly perfect. Uh, uh, I believe that would have happened if I did it that the first time as well. So I'm not too ashamed. Now, I actually do want to run this play how it is designed without doing any hot routes, hot, hot route slash audibles. Because once Michael Wiesbecker kind of gets deep, he should be open because he does have some good speed. But they're going to like stack that side. So I'm just gonna run it. I have no problem doing that. I just get 16 yards, hop out of bounds. Six seconds left. Bennett is like that hot route. I think that's kind of like what what that orange means. It's kind of like okay, this is this is a good route for him because he's probably gonna be open, which that's pretty ironic. Honestly, let's throw it. What am I gonna lose? Oh no, a pick. Uh, we're up 21 to zero. Ooh, a speed option. Ew. I wish it was flipped the other way so I have more I have more field to work with. But beggars can't be choosers. Oh, that was kind of shitty because we kind of lost some blocks as well. That was really crappy. I will send gl and glick on this. Uh, there you go. That was one of my options for. Oh, that was one of my options for that pass. The only time I'm really bad is when what, like for instance. Ostrander's not one of my options to pass it to, but he's he's kind of like he, he's uh I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. For instance, if Ostrander was one of my options to pass, like I'm literally like because I've played this game so much, I have so much game knowledge on it. I'm like, okay, Ostrander is literally going to be open in either the middle of the field or all the way on the left. That's just game knowledge. So I literally will focus on him and then if I don't see him open after a while, that's when I panic. If I'm getting blitzed, I'm, I can see defenders in front of me. That's when I panic. But if there's nobody in front of me, Ostrander's not open, I just run it. That's kind of my, my state of mind. And it actually works relatively well. But sometimes if I do happen to get like blitzed and that person I'm targeting is not open, that's when I throw picks and I try throwing while getting tackled. And I, 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 get, I have fumbles. So... That's that's you're wondering how I play. That's, that's basically how I play, and it's actually not too bad of a strategy. Because in the guy, and I think I'm gonna focus on him more because he has more field to cover. I doubt they're gonna rotate all these players over. Oh my god, are you serious? They rotated all their players over. But that was super close to being out of bounds, but I still got the pass off. And that was a super quick possession, which will put us, I believe, in the red zone. Just inside of the red zone, I believe. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, what a king! What a king! We're not gonna do that play again though because it didn't work. It's, if it doesn't work the first time, it's not gonna work the second time. They, they, they won't fall for it. But if I believe, if I put, I'm not gonna send Weezbacker that deep. I'm just gonna put him on, on a common slant route. He should be able to get open near the middle slash the edge. So he's 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 open now. We're do our defense is literally annihilating Hot Springs right now. Their their offense, which I'm. I'm pretty happy about. If I send Sorry Adit, that'll probably make uh, whoever that is wide open because it'll get rid of the defender rotating over. I'm actually super smart when it comes to this stuff, but I can never play football in real life just because one, I'm not athletic, and uh, two, I, I just I'm not athletic, <laughs> and I panic a lot. Now this is this is another play that I sometimes do. It's it's kind of like, are you serious? Oh my gosh. Oh my god, that actually worked completely perfectly and not how I expected it to. Oh, they're going to take us out. Well, sometimes what I do is I just send everybody on slant routes. The, the wide outs, the slot, the, the halfback, the tight end. I send them all. When I, if you have a route, I'm going to send you deep, which will send all the defenders deep. And then I'll, I'll, I'll have a lot of free space to run. Sometimes I do that on third down because third down 
it works a lot of the time because there's no defenders I can get just and I can't get crazy yards because at one point those defenders are going to catch up with me but I'm a able to get like 10 15 maybe 20 if I'm lucky yards so it's, it's good other than that that play that we just did at the end there that was probably one of my favorite plays because we were able to like get a lot of blocks and a good run and yeah okay let's see what school has won us all right so Arkansas see that kind of uh that proves my statement see Arkansas has now offered us a scholarship now out of these these three uh I don't want to be the next Ryan Leaf so I think I'm gonna go UCLA 100% probably won't choose him now round four this is the state championship this is where this is where all eyes are watching now I'm gonna see my college choices real quick because we have a, we have a wide selection of them uh I like how UCF was one of my options but it was like their last on my list uh, if I ha I'm not gonna say my top three right now, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say that Oregon is still in my top three Georgia is still in my top three and One other school is still in my top three. I'm not I, I'm not gonna say who it is But uh, I'm trying to like get this eye booger out of my eye. So we're gonna be playing in the state championship against Oh, we're South Dakota. I thought we were playing in North Dakota South Dakota state championship against the eight and two Brandon now Let's see what stadium we're gonna play in here. We are in the state championship. We actually play at Nebraska's stadium, okay tails never fails Wow first time it's actually failed in the playoffs now. We've had a fantastic playoff uh, I mean we've played amazing in the playoffs, but we're playing at Nebraska, which is super weird So I guess we'll just go along with it now Brandon has us literally pinned against the one yard line. Now, if I if I mess up this, if I mess up this play, then this is gonna be a safety. But I don't, I don't. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's gonna be a 99 yard touchdown. That is the longest touchdown we have in our high school career. A 99 yard run by your boy Nick Savage. Actually, technically, they say it's 100 yards, so that's even better. So that's a fantastic start to the game. Love it. Our defense is already like playing hard against this team. So this, sh this should be a sign of good things to come. Now I'm kind of curious because I've never actually played all my high school games. I wonder, okay, that's a dumb play. I wonder if, um, I usually only play like till I get five stars and then I just skip to the, to the, to signing day. And I wonder if, if like, if you do play through all these games that you could be, the number one string for Alabama or you you always like start as like the second string or the third string I that's I'm curious about that you know, okay now I'm making stupid decisions now I talked a lot about like my Mexico trip but I I, I just remembered I forgot some stuff now it's kind of cool to see the cultural differences like uh, I don't want to say culture this is cultural but the toilets there if you don't like for instance if you take a number two and you wipe you don't throw it in the toilet and flush because their pipes are super small like they're so like the US is like three inches or something like that But theirs is like one inch so it couldn't fit it can't fit toilet paper So what you do if you take if you wipe you you throw away your toilet paper Which I'm like that has to get stinky as heck, but I was able to get into the end zone uh, I, I really didn't have to do that though because our hotel though like usually the nicer places in Mexico They'll have like two or so inches or something like that or the, it, they're not as big as the US, but they, it, they'll have like the bigger pipes so you can fit your, your toilet paper down into the into the toilet. So it, it didn't affect me really. Also, like you're not supposed to drink the water because the water has like AIDS and crap in it. So it's disgusting and you can get really sick. And my mom actually got sick from the water when uh, like right after we got back because she was she uh, we usually use the bottled water to to wet our toothbrush. We'd use bottled water to wet our toothbrush, and then uh, usually what you would do is like when you're rinsing your toothbrush out after you're done, you just use the water bottle too. But she was like rinsing it out with the tap water, so she wasn't like fully immersing herself into the Mexico Mexican water experience. But she was like doing she was just dapping in it a little bit. But that was enough to get her sick. So like I'm glad I didn't taste any of the water even like i got a little bit of it in my mouth when i was when i was showering and it tasted disgusting like it actually tasted like crap so i'm like i spit it out and like washed out my mouth with more mexican no i'm just kidding but it was disgusting the taste in it i was ugh. that might not be a touchdown 
No, it wouldn't have been, but I should have passed it to Michael Wiesbecker. This still blows on my mind that since we're in South Dakota, we're playing in Nebraska's field. I, I don't know how far Nebraska is from uh, South Dakota. It might be the state that's right under it. That's possible. Yeah, I'll throw it to you. I'm going to hike this ball. And then uh, possibly could have got more yards with B if I let him maybe get a little bit further downfield. But sometimes by the time they actually do get downfield, they, um, they're like right out of bounds. Like they're when when they get open downfield, they're out of bounds. So it's, it's no point after that. But Ashton or should get some yards on if he can like break that tackle, which he's able to do. So he gets an extra five yards to get a 31 yard reception to put us within the red zone. Now we're gonna do a read option, which these have been really successful, not only in this game, but the whole entire playoffs. Let's see if I can read this, which either way, our O-line is actually really good. Now that's going to be pretty good if we can get a touchdown, and we will. 19-yard touchdown run by your boy Nick Savage. If our defense played a little bit harder and it was still a shutout, this probably would have been the fastest time that we've ever gotten to 50 points uh, in a game. But our defense wasn't able to shut them out completely. They were able to score 13 on us. I don't know if that was like a touchdown and two field goals or they just really suck at kicking field goals. But I'm going to send a guy in deep that should be able to get... Uh, another guy off of I believe that's Wiesbecker on the right side that will or the left side sh that sh will be shifting over to the right side That's Ostrander my bad, but that'll give him 26 yards just because I got rid of the defender see there's two people that were stacking on my boy uh, The guy in over there Can I change the play there you go. I want the deep one and change Glicks rod to a slant change house howls route to a slant and that's a ooh ooh see i think it was last episode or was this episode i don't know we've played three games this episode i can't remember but it was like last episode where it was Wiesbecker and he made that same exact catch like that and they ruled it in bounds even though he easily did not have a foot in bounds he just like kind of caught it in bounds and i probably would have gotten a touchdown if it passed at rb either way i got a touchdown with with Craig Ostrander too. Now that uh, possession took a little bit longer. Now I wouldn't mind if they kept us in for the state championship because like I would understand in that case because this is literally the last game of my career, my high school career, not my entire career, but my high school career is the final game. And we're gonna get some good amount of yards to click and if he could break some tackles and he might be able to get into the end zone, but he's not. That's a 51 yard reception from my boy, not, not, not Ryan. Lick. I still don't understand this. I said this in like one of the first episodes, but I don't understand why four verticals is so good uh, when you're in the red zone. I guess maybe it was kind of like what I was explaining last episode. It clears out some running space for the quarterback, but that's going to put us within the 21 yard line. We take a timeout, even though we don't even need it. They're going to give us a triple option, but I'm going to change the play into a, uh, a pass play because I feel more confident with getting into the end zone. I'm going to make wilson have a little wheel route or not a wheel route uh a little out route and then i'm just gonna run it into the end zone that's a four yard touchdown that might be the final touchdown of our high school career will that be no they're gonna put us in a half or a second half that's awesome cool because they kind of want to play on nebraska's field just a little bit more because they're not all they're not one of my choices to be quite honest for schools that i want to go to for being honest but he's wide open might as well just get a touchdown right here if he's fast enough, he'll be able to get in the end zone. Is he? They're catching up with him. But no, that's going to be an 81-yard touchdown reception by my boy Alex Howell. We're now leading 61-13 to 13 with 441 left in the third. Are they going to take us out? Oh, they are going to take us out. Now, that was our final play of our high school career. What a good way to end it on an 81-yard touchdown by Alex Howell. Now, that was our final game. We win the state championship with uh, 15 completions with 18 uh, attempts. 400 nearly 500 yards of passing 500 or 500 passing touchdowns five passing touchdowns 123 rushing yards and 100 of those yards were the, the the first play of the game so we only got 23 after that which is kind of weird and the three rushing touchdowns we will see who wants us in the final week of recruiting i guess uca ucla offers us a scholarship at qb and then we have these other schools which i believe i've already chosen washington but i'm going to choose it again and now we can look at the playoff recap i'm going to I'm gonna click on that once the autosave is over. Let's see. Go Redfield defeats Brandon 62 to 13. Savage is ready to make his decision. 
Do we see our spark? Not yet. College choices. Now, these are the college choices. I am going to choose what college that I want in the next episode. So we have Clemson, Alabama, Ohio State, Texas, Oklahoma, Georgia, Oregon, Washington, Nebraska, Tennessee, TCU, UCLA, Arkansas, Texas Tech, Iowa, Minnesota, UCF. Now, I believe uh, the schools from Clemson down to probably Washington are like the schools that I'm really interested in and that I would possibly go to. I don't think any schools below Washington is like schools that I would plan on going to. So really... The pool is from Washington to Clemson, so you can make your guesses what school I'm going to choose down in the comments. So if you enjoyed this video, press the like button. We're going to be choosing a team next episode, so uh, press the like button, subscribe if you know. That's all I got. See ya. That's all, folks.